we are. Hello, my people. Um, this is Mohali. Actually, this is Sunny and Clay Mohali, and this is a view from my uh, balcony. Hey, today I want to show you guys here in India, uh, there is a community uh, Sikhs. Um, if you come here, you're going to see in India people that wear what we would call a turban. This is my partner, Jazz. And we're going to show you today how he ties a peg. It's important to um, acknowledge that there's a lot of different styles of pegs, right? Yeah, there are so many as much you can. That's the way you can tie the peg. And you can make your own form, but it has to be good. Yeah, um, Jazz, what do you need in order to tie a peg? Mm, some people have... Mm, measurements like some people wants to have longer ones which have like five to seven seven to even twelve nine four but there are some people that is want little one but they want to have the volume what's this this is a slide actually this is like a stick but it's metal and you make the folds clear with this some people just put the thing I mean put the hairs inside their cloth Okay, on the 50, so this is a slide. Yeah. And then this is a peg. Yeah, this is okay. a peg. This is 6.80 meters, which is like approximately if you go in the centimeters. But you have to get it double. So it is 40. Okay. Can we see it? Yeah, it is like this. It's, it's a joint of two folds, which is when you go, you just tell them to give you... Uh, six and uh, six point eighty. Because in Sikh religion, they don't get forty five because it's bad. Okay. If you go more, you'd never get forty five. All right. I see that you wet it a little bit. Why yeah. did you wet it a little bit? So it can stick to the fold because sometimes it's so slippery with the stuff the the starch that you have. What kind of material is this? It's a rubia web. Okay, so let's yeah. go into the process. What is the first thing you're going to do? First, you have to do like a fold, like a knot that you can stretch. I'm holding one end. If you can see, he gave me the tip yes. of one. And then he's kind of folding it type of like a triangle, I guess. Okay. Well, this is called puni that you have to do before you tie a bag. All right, exactly. I'm holding this. And as you can see, he kind of folds. And then... And then you stretch it as you like, as you want. And then you fold it as your convenience, as long as your arm goes. Basically, it is like the one fold of your bed. That is the way it has. Okay. Now let's watch you do this. Then you need a 50 for doing that. A uh, 50? Yes, this is actually uh, when the Britisher came to India, then they just know this pack, but they don't want everybody in their military to be tying tags so much. Uh, it's important, i just sorry to interrupt you, he has really long hair. He ties it in the, in the back, back, but most Sikhs to uh, Tie on like you can open it as you want. And, and what is that called when they tie it on the Judah. top? Judah. Okay. Yeah, but you can like you can open it like this, and you can make it flat. All right. So what do you do with this fifty? I'm going to put it on, like this. Basically, it is to make your bag stable as you're going to tie it. Okay. And you go in this because it's very necessary now. I mean, you can tie a bag without the fifty, but you have to have. To do it like that so it can be stable for a longer time. Okay. I'm showing you guys what he's doing. He's just sticking with the slide, the hairs inside of the 50. Mind you, again, it's important that I emphasize that if you see another Sikh person tying this 50, more than likely you're going to see that they have the bun on the top of the yes. head. And they use this 50 to kind of Cover. flatten uh -huh. the the bun. But he 
has opted for having his hair in a ponytail in the back. Yeah. So it there's, is more convenient they're going to see different styles. When you wear the bag, it is tight on your head. And for the longer time and the weather it is in India, that is a little bit hard to take it off. All right. So I'm going to start. Okay, so I open one side, huh? Mm-hmm. And then you can make it like this. And to make it this flat, also, you can make it a stretch. That's the way you can do it. But like I said, everybody has their own style. Sometimes you develop one hand where your hand feels like comfortable. Then you can have it on. How long have you been tying a pack? Since childhood, I'm from the ninth standard. So how long has that been? Uh, it's been now, I say, almost 11 years. Some people take a lot of time to tie a bag. Some people take very fast. It depends how your hands wet. Well, some, even sometimes, like, it depends all on you, how you do it. Why do Sikhs wear a pack? It's a crown. It's the significance of being a Sikh. Because Sikh doesn't need anything else. This is their own crown. And they are the kings of their house, their home, their family, for the community. Is there like um, an amount of folds that... Um, you can do as much you want. Some people make like... When I'm I making, talk about folds, we're talking about... Yeah, these are folds. These are folds. Yes, these are folds. But some people even make these four into ten by making the... But that's an adjustment and that's their hand. But as you grow, then you try to get on your own you can change your style yes. some people just stick to one one their own style but sometimes like I I love to tie differently okay. sometimes I take other styles too I mean you can't conquer that all four but you can make it your own this has to be all clean do your arms get tired? No, it's the it's one kind of gym for see people. That's their daily routine workout that they have to do. Some people get very involved in it. I mean, even they tire sometimes, not fully and accomplished bag but they take a lot of time but some I don't take that long approximately it can go from five to ten minutes but if you are like too much into like this all depends on your hand okay like right now you are halfway off I mean almost done like you see the folds they are not that clear so to make them clear you use this again and to make them clear like see the difference the clarity comes after this I mean you can use your hands as far as you can 
but after some time after the clarity you have to use this as to clear it and now I can fix it as I want and then you need pins some people don't need pins they just take their last show me how many pins okay just regular pins no it's a bug pin it's not the it's thinner one it's thin than the paper pins and they don't get bad as this bag is wet okay so you don't need to use the paper pin but they mess up your bag also with the but you haven't put any pins in right now no no right now okay you're just We're about 11 minutes into this um, video, but it's important that we want to share the whole process with you. So we're almost done. As you can see, he's now putting the, last, putting the pins. Yes. This is the last phase of the bag. Some people don't use these pins because they just feel like it's not necessary but to stick to the thing and as it is, as it has to be tight and tidy, you have to make it clean. Okay. So, so far, um, it seems he's going to use four pins. Two just, in the back. Two in the back and two in the front two to the make front. it. And as you can see, this is how the pad yes. looks right now. It's still open in the top. So, we're about to conclude the process, which and I guess you, is now he's going to pull. That's the first fold that we did, which is on the side of, I mean, in the center of your head. That is going to cover your head from the top. And then you stretch this one because all these folds are different as you're seeing all clean. So and this side. It's important you cover your hairs on the top because it looks bad to have the hair out. Doesn't look nice. You have a beautiful pack tied on, and then you have hair sticking out. Okay. So you stretch this last one. To make a full control over your head. That's it. All right. So this is um, a peg. In eleven it has minutes. Five folds. Yes, five folds here and four folds on the top. And it has four pins. And this is called a pack. And um, Jazzdrot Singh Sandu has done this for you. All right, guys. Thank you for sharing this with us. I hope it's been a learning experience. And we'll try to put some other pegs and also. Yeah, definitely. Um, we will come back. Styles, styles. So you can check it out. All right. Bye. Let's see the guy,